Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let's take a look at the presenter display in Keynote. So I'm using Keynote version 6 here and we're going to look at the presenter display which is your second screen you're presenting. Usually you've got a computer hooked up to a projector and the projector is showing the presentation and you're seeing something a little different on your screen. On your screen you're seeing the presenter display. So I have a simple presentation here and when I hit play what the main screen is going to show you is the slide of course. And the secondary screen that could be my laptop display for instance uh, will show the presenter display. And that's what we're going to see when I hit play here. You see the presenter display come up and it has various elements. It's got a big clock at the top. Always important when you're presenting. It shows you the current slide on the left and the next slide on the right. Important when presenting because you want to kind of mentally prepare for what you're going to say when you switch to the next slide. Sometimes there's something you want to say to introduce the next slide so you want to know what's coming up. Now on the presenter display you can click to advance to the next slide but you could also use the arrows. You can use the forward arrow, forward arrow to go to the next slide so that's what's being shown now and you can use the backward arrow to go backward so you have some nice control there. You also have a ton of keyboard shortcuts and it's hard to remember them all so the presenter display gives you the handy little help here. And of course only you are seeing this on your display so you can kind of bring it up uh, if you get stuck during a presentation and you want to remember something and nobody else will be the wiser that you brought this up. So there's a lot of keyboard shortcuts you can use in doing a presentation. You can also customize the presenter display. So for instance you can have your notes at the bottom uh, very useful. Uh, you can say no I don't want to see the next slide or I don't want to see the current slide. I want to focus on the next one. That's handy when you can really easily see the main presentation screen. Get rid of the clock. You can add a timer instead from when you started. Um, things like that make elapsed time or remaining time with a set uh, time there. So very handy to have. Uh, these are good tools for presentations. What also is really cool is the navigator here on the left. You can look at all the thumbnails for all of your slides and very quickly jump to one. So that's really handy. Uh, and if you have a huge presentation, you can enter a number in and, and hit go. So if you know that, say, slide 57 uh, has some important bullet points on it, and when you're done your presentation, you can easily jump to that slide. Uh, so it's really cool tools. I also want to point out this button here, which is switch displays. So this is really handy. A lot of times you start a presentation and find your presenter display is up on the main screen and the presentation is up on your laptop screen. And just hit that button once and it swaps the two of them. So it makes it very easy uh, to uh, correct that problem if it occurs. And then if you anytime you want to uh, quit the presentation, there's many ways to do it, like the escape key, but you could also just hit X here to exit the slideshow.